journey with one of hip-hop's most prolific and misunderstood artists as he speaks to his fans candidly about his personal and professional life. Listen to the articulate words of a young visionary as he leads you down the road of his trials and tribulations and up the path toward his dreams and successes. This is Busy Bone. singing. The singing was the dream. Praying, hard work, struggles. The birth of the bone thug story. Eight months in Cali. 17 years old and finally Easy e Kicking it with Easy e Getting drunk, getting high, then bam. Death. Easy is dead. The death of Easy e brings on a state of chaos, division, and things start to fall. Things have gone awry. And yes, some bad things are said in his hatred and anger towards his life, but eventually, maybe even out of desperation, he takes it to Christ, takes it to the Lord, and he stands. Exactly, always man. Spiritual, never physical. You can't take none of this with you, brother. No, no, no. All you got, you know what I mean, is your integrity and your soul that you leave. You leave your integrity with you, what type of motherfucker you was. Hey, man, that's it, man.
future. The future. The future's coming up out of here. The future's coming up out of seven. You know. All we got to do is keep on working. But I'm quite sure when they hear all these young brothers, these young brothers are not only contenders, but they're, they're, uh, they're front runners. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that got to catch up with them. They've been in boot camp for so long. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I am my nigga. So listen before you commit to commit my roots to fix your attention. This nigga, this nigga, this is your last. Ooh. Got these businesses so connected with each other that it makes so much sense to do it like this because we have everything within ourselves. We're contained here. Listen every word to the wild. Oh, I'm on my this the seventh time, the only seventh time. I don't need no groupies on the side. The catch me down in Vegas with the homies at the Bellage. Yeah, I asked him all up in it. All in the body claim it. Let's hear it, let's see what we did. You bitch nigga, and die a cop who on the KPS won't it. Floating my jury in the faces of the grand jury takes a stand. Man, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to keep it moving, man. Keep keep the wheels turning, you know what I mean? I got to work every day. Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, uh, Ramadan, okay. uh, everything, right. everything. It's just keeping it moving, you know what I'm saying? So they definitely doing their shit. So shout out to my dogs and more power to them, you know what I'm saying? I wish they was here right now. You yeah, know? Because it'd be a lot harder if it wasn't like this. If if he wasn't down here, if you wasn't down here, it would be a lot harder. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make everybody a part of this, but this is my thing. It's just everybody a part of this For right sure. now, and that's some real shit. I ain't no mother. This ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? So it's real. It's real respectful on, on some manly shit that men know about. Accept it, reject it, but walk out the motherfucking door. I don't give a fuck. You wanna hit this wing? <laughs> Best job for you. 
So in this game, this game is all a gamble. And I always tell cats that when I talk to them, if we all come to the table together, we all come to the table, we acknowledge that this is a gamble. You know, it's not like you're gonna pay me a million dollars off the top and I come in here and, and didn't do your work. No, we're gonna get this money together. You know, because a lot of times, a lot of cats, the first thing they ask you is, okay, they want to get their money up. So they like, well, how much is it going to cost you to come in? And I'm, I'm, I'm really than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the long term. I'm not here just to, you know, shoot some game to you, get your money, and then throw you to the side. I'm here, to, you know, for the long term. It's like a, it's just like a 50-50 thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like your word is your bond type level, you know? Looking in each other's eyes, shaking hands, breaking bread, and really meaning it, not betraying each other. And uh, it taught me a lot about, you know what I'm saying, business first, you know what I mean? It's show business, it's show business, show, show, show some business, you know what I mean? So he put a lot of that into my head, and you know, I brought my little, like I said, I bring my little two cents to the table to his 98, and it just, it, it, it makes that dollar jump off real well. And I was learning a lot of things, and now I'm doing management here and there. You know what I'm saying? Able to put put some things together with my own party. So it's a blessing, man. It's one of the uh, one of the best businessmen that I've ever worked with in my entire career. I think the best businessman I ever worked with in my entire career. When Cat started realizing that in the music business that that this is a business, you, you, you're not in the, you're not just in the business just to be a rapper. You this is a business. Treat this thing like a business, man. It's a whole different world, man. It says, if you try to do something good and bad comes from it, do good anyway. If you try your best and somebody brings their worst, do your best anyway. If you sing your heart out and they still say you can't sing, sing your heart out anyway. Oh, wait.